So, sometimes you just need to refactor some old code, just a little bit. These past two years or so, as I've studied different programming languages, I've had this feeling to, well, unscramble all the code in the Pipe Dream project from 2019. You know, the, I could totally do this so much better now feeling. So that brings you and I to today. In these next few videos, I'll be documenting my process for rewriting all of the code that went into the original Roblox project. Comparing and contrasting between code when I'm able and overall just explaining my process. Now, what this project isn't. I'm not planning to make any alterations to the 3D model itself or add in any new features like sound or a custom MIDI editors. These features would be projects in their own right and honestly, Roblox isn't made to do those kinds of things. Now, regardless of all that, I'm still very fond of the Lua language itself. Back in 2000 whatever, it was my first ever programming language. And while I'm not exactly sure what Roblox is turning into these days, five years down the line I figured it wouldn't hurt to do one last project now that I'm no longer 16. Alright, so this video will just be a short summary of the plan of the project so far. The rendering pipeline, if you will. Before I actually start, we need to ask ourselves, what are we actually doing here? Now, the fundamental concept of every Animusic animation is MIDI data goes in and then a music video comes out. Now, Roblox can't export video directly, so instead I opted for uh, having an image sequence exported and then operating on that in post. Here's how we'll start. I'll assume there already exists a MIDI file, which, you know, a fair assumption. From there, I want to import it in such a way that my Lua scripts that's what this means, everything inside uh, Roblox is uh, beyond this point. I want to import my MIDI in such a way that my Lua scripts can read the bytes directly. Now, unfortunately, we're kind of bottlenecked here, so I chose to use Base64 to convert the bytes to plain text and then back out to bytes. More on that on episode one. From there, I translate the raw bytes into a very simple MIDI object that we can store in a Lua table. In this case, a table of headers and then a table of uh, tracks. Now, because MIDI files are allowed to have tempo data dispersed all throughout the track, we'll need to extract all of our timing data in the next step. I call this object that the uh, QMap step uh, creates the Q table because it lays out exactly when each marble should land on each key. Think of it as every time there's a red tick mark, a marble will land. You know, every in Pipe Dream, every note is began by a marble. These four dots, by the way, just means for every key of every instrument. Essentially, we generate the marble timings first, and then we put the rest of the animation around it. Now, what these blue sliders represent is the new way that I'll be writing my code around the instrument object, so to speak. Now, instead of affecting our 3D model directly like my old code did, we want to keyframe out in other words, control these sliders with the MIDI data beforehand, and then have this affect the model. Of course, we want this to happen for every possible position a marble could show up. And going forward, I'll be calling those keys, as in the 88 keys of a piano, for example. We want each key to be able to interpret how it should act around the cues, in other words, how to play the note, and how to apply the sliders to the final model, or display the instrument's state. From there, it's pretty much just a matter of bookkeeping from the renderer, and I should be able to render at any point in time of the animation that I would like. Taking a bunch of screenshots in order, for instance, gives us an image sequence, which I can then use, I could add music to it, post-process, and, you know, do all that kind of stuff if I so desire. Now, of course, this overview isn't the complete picture, and I'm very likely to change a few things along the way, but, you know, I hope you all enjoy the journey, Hope you all enjoy the next couple of videos. I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.